What's up everybody? This is Tom Bernanke and today, today I have a large blister. 10 days ago, this man came into the emergency room and he had a, what looked like a toothpick or something stuck in his foot. I was able to take him in the OR, drain that thing. We cleaned out the abscess. He is a diabetic. His blood sugars were in the 200 range or so. As you can see, there's a central hole up there. I'm cleaning off a lot of the blister. And look at how good he's looking 10 days later. This is how well antibiotics and blood sugar control, just getting insulin can do for you. So check this out. I'm gonna clean him up and we will get him on his way. Whoop. Bad words. There you go. So has it been off work? Any issues with well, that? I, I I'm not working, so. Yeah. Oh, I got you. I got you. But I mean, yeah, that's the thing. With something like this, we I mean, gotta I, keep I, you off. I went by a knee, knee scooter. Gotcha. All right. So when I'm ha having to do anything somewhere, you know, you but they, those are not all trained vehicles. Yeah. Exactly. And they're uh, like uh, hard to move around on dirt and crap. Uh huh. You know. Yeah, all this, because this extended all through your toes, all down through the tendon, you know? Now it's so much more superficial. That looks really, really good. So I'm just gonna clean off all this extra loose skin right there. So yeah, you could see that that's healing amazing through there. That's good. Yeah. Makes me happy. That's scary being a diabetic, you know? It is, it is. And how's, how's it, how have your sugars been? Gotcha. It's a little high for me too. Gotcha. But you know, it's so hard to control. Control. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And you know, eat things and you're thinking you're eating okay, but the coleslaw and all of a sudden puts it up high. Uh, you know, just bring me coleslaw. Yeah, absolutely. You know. You know. I mean, I mean, I, I, I don't look like this because I don't eat sweets because I just eat bugs. No, and it's tough. You know, it keeps you from. Uh, it keeps you from being able to do that kind of stuff, you know, well, you especially know, like, when you get wounds like this. I still like cheat once in a while, but I, not like I used to, you know. Yeah. I'd walk into a store and buy three or four chocolate bars, you know. You know, the thing you got to do is you got to find a way to make it a good habit, you know. Well, that's what I'm Just doing, doing like little things every day. Right. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be that way, you know. I, just, I hate it, to be honest, but just I understand it. You got some nice healing going on here. This is great new skin. This used to be, you know, this is all, this used to all be wound right here, you know. You got great new skin coming in, you're healing up beautifully. Cool. Yeah, so you had some debris stuck in here at the beginning. So something, something got in, uh, there was a little bit of debris. We cleaned it all out. The base looks really good right now. Your blood sugars look really good. So you're doing all the hard work, you know? You're for sure doing well, all the know, hard work here. You know, I, I show dogs. I'm not showing them right now, obviously. Uh huh. I'm not running around with the wife doing that still. And you know, like sometimes, you know, I can feel sand, you know? Yeah. That's a, that's a hard thing to totally clean. And, Showers suck. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, because you know I can't even clean myself properly because I put put this leg up on top of the bathtub. Uh huh. Right, so I'm standing on one leg. Keep clean, you know. How how was the dressing for you? Do you have any issues with it? No. Good. So that looks outstanding right there. You know, let's do that for one more week. And I think you're going to be in really, really good shape. 
So there you have it. Here's the keys to cleaning up a wound. You wanna get that loose, dry skin off there so the bacteria have nowhere to live. Anywhere that you have great blood flow, you cannot have bacteria or fungus live. But all that loose, dry, dead skin, that's what's gonna get you. You gotta clean that up. You gotta get your blood sugar back down to normal levels. If you have normal blood sugar levels, if your health is under control, if you have no dead dry skin, no abscesses, then you will heal pretty much guaranteed. It's as simple as that. You don't need all this wild stuff. You don't need skin grafts. You don't need hyperbaric chambers. You just need to get your health under control and clean up all that bad stuff and dress it and keep off of it. At the same time, hit that subscribe. We will bring you great info and we will keep you entertained. Guaranteed, so subscribe.